All right, so we walking into the sun. This is Masjid al Nur, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna take you guys inside, and we're gonna look at the masjid. So first off, basic features. Everybody knows they're called minarets. Uh, back in the days, people would actually walk up there and call the adhan. Now they just put speakers up there. Believe it or not, like the domes and everything are like an old added feature. The actual masjid in Nabawi, uh, the masjid of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, originally the roof was flat. And this is something that's like actually a new addition that they started doing for decoration purposes. Yeah, it's uh, it's not something that's really quote unquote Islamic. Uh, if you go by original designs, the, the roofs of masjids are supposed to be flat. So this is the inside of the masjid. Uh, this right here is what we call we got some ladies here so I'm gonna try not to film the ladies because this is a, it's a big no-no in the Middle East if you don't know so this right here is what you call a musalla uh, it's called like the main prayer area over here you'd have like there's a masjid library most masjids have a library um, yeah so uh, this is a very very blingy very decorative masjid if you look up here it's like So we're gonna go around here. Now every masjid, they usually have this right here, like a book area that's outside the library. So these will all be Qur'ans where people can come, they can sit down, they can read a Qur'an, and uh, you know, I guess you could say relax for a while. You'll find these all over the place. And then what you have here, is like what people usually use to read the Quran. It's like there'll be a stand here, and then I'm, uh, you know, you sit down in front of it, and you can, of course, this is a large version of the Quran. Maybe you have bad eyes, and then they sit and they read the Quran. At the front, you have what is called the mimbar. This is where the Imam or Khatib will give like the Friday sermon. He'll stand up here and then the congregation will be back here sitting down. No chairs, and you sit on the floor. And then he'll give the Friday speech. If I'm not mistaken, this is called a mirqab, right? Yeah, this like curved in area. Now, this is actually a new feature. This is something that also didn't exist in Masjid al Nabawi, in the Prophet's Masjid. This was uh, something that was added later. If I'm not mistaken, it was added because the ranks, the rows were so full that the Imam, he'll stand alone in the front. He didn't have any space, and so they put this thing here, this mirkab, so he'd have a place for him to stand. Almost every masjid has one of these and tells you the prayer times. Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. These are the five prayers of the day. Um, sunrise, it tells you what time sunrise is, you know. Because uh, you can't pray Fajr after the sun comes up. And uh, yeah, that's the basics of your average masjid. Like I said, this is a very, very, very nice one. Uh, ooh, man, they put a lot of money into this one. Ah, also something that's like a new feature is carpets. Now carpets is something that's like a big deal. You don't wear shoes inside the masjid, but the, the masjid of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the floor was actually sand. It was dirt. And um, later on, of course, comfort and whatnot, ladies over here, so I'm not filming over here. And so later on, what they did was they added carpets for decoration, comfort, and all this type of stuff. But this is something that's new also. And why you take off your shoes when you enter in a masjid, because generally, from the Islamic Sunnah is that you don't uh, you don't need to remove your shoes during prayer. Up on the top row, normally what you'll find is the ladies' prayer area behind like the shred, the shrouded version, uh, shrouded uh, windows here is usually what is the ladies' prayer area. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's the feature here, that this right here, what you're seeing up here. Would be, would be the ladies' prayer area behind that wall. So anybody who thinks that there's no place for the ladies, that's uh, obviously incorrect. 
um, I'm not really good at calligraphic reading in Arabic, but at the top of like, you know, every pillar section, you find like verses of the Quran or statements, you know, uh, of faith. I'm not really sure. It would take me hours to read this stuff, but you see them everywhere. Written up here, very decorative stuff.